Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. So this is Anchal Rohila, your botany faculty. So I'm going to basically uh, discuss previous year questions and the important questions, right? For you guys. So uh, let's start with our lecture. So let's see what will be our target. Our target will be previous year question and some important question. So the first chapter that we are going to start is the living world, the very first chapter. But before we start with this uh, lecture, let's start with this some motivation, some motivational lines uh, by my favorite APJ Abdul Kalam. So what he said, let's see. Uh, so he said that if four things are followed, that is having great aim, right? Having great aim. Second, acquiring knowledge. So whatever knowledge you are getting, just acquire it. Every knowledge is good. Then hard work. Of course, without hard work, right? You won't be uh, you won't be able to achieve. And perseverance. So these four things are followed. If four th uh, these things are followed, anything can be achieved. Anything can be achieved. So these are such a beautiful lines by APJ Abdul Kalam. So after this motivation, let's start with our lecture. So uh, in every question, I'll give you some time to you guys to solve it. Then I'll start uh, solving the question. So first question from the chapter, The Living World is, which of the following belongs to family muskete? Very, very, very easy question. Asked in NEET 2021. Which of the following belongs to family muskete? 30 seconds. I'm, I'm giving you 30 seconds. Okay. So, housefly. Housefly, right? Family is muskety, right? Species is musca domestica. And always remember, whenever we write the scientific name, we always underline it separately, right? We will underline musca and domestica separately. So housefly, uh, the species of housefly is musca domestica and the family is muskete. And the family is muskete. Very, very, very easy question. The answer will be option number three. Answer will be option number three. I hope this is clear to all of you. This is a direct question. This is a direct question. Let's move on to the next question. Select the correctly written scientific name of mango. This is also easy, right? Uh, which was first described by Carlos Linnaeus. This came in NEET 2019. So I'm giving you 30 seconds to solve this question. You have 30 seconds to solve this question. So what will be the correct scientific name of mango? Correct scientific name of mango. Let's start solving this. Carlos Linnaeus basically gave binomial nomenclature, yes. And according to binomial nomenclature, scientific name consists of two words. Generic name and specific epithet. Right, so binomial, no according to binomial nomenclature, the scientific name, uh, scientific name consists of two words. Generic name and specific epithet. Generic name basically represent genus and specific epithet basically represent the species, right? The first letter of genus is capital.
the first letter uh, letter should be in capital and for the species first letter should be uh, the first letter of the word should be small right and if we want to write the author's name author citation which means writing author's name we will always write the author name after specific epithet after specific epithet right and it should be in abbreviated form it should be in abbreviated form so let's see what will be the answer so the first option here is mangifera indica carlin no beta we will only use the f one word uh, from the author's name so let's see the second mangifera indica lin yes here bache lin represent linnaeus here lin represent linnaeus and mangifera indica yes when printed uh, or uh, when you type or when you print it should be in italics and when you hand written it it should be underlined separately yes this is the correct answer next is mangifera indica beta this is also correct but author's name is not mentioned here and in second option you you can uh, see that author citation is there so uh, the second is more appropriate second is more appropriate that's why we will choose second option that's why we will choose second option because it is more appropriate right and the last is uh, mangifera indica no beta uh, indica the first letter should be small first letter should be small right this is correct but indica here written is incorrect so the most appropriate answer is second so we will choose the second option i hope this is clear to all of you let's move on to the third question okay so this is a very long question uh, i'll give you 30 seconds then i will explain so this is the match the following you have to match two columns and select the correct option herbarium key museum catalog and in the column 2 uh, the description of these are given you have 30 seconds then we will see what will be the answer okay let's see herbarium right herbarium basically has the collection of dried plants right so let's see herbarium is a place where dried and pressed uh, plant specimen mounted on sheet are kept and the sheets are known as herbarium sheets sheets are known as herbarium sheets so the sheets are like this this is herbarium sheet in which you basically paste or stitch the dried plant and there is a label where you write the information about the plant right next is key let's see what is key key beta is a booklet or it, it is a card containing a list of characters and their alternate which are helpful in identification of various group yes key is basically consist of consist of contrasting statements
सो दे आर आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स फॉर ईच करेक्टर राइट यू चूज वन स्टेटमेंट एंड यू रिजेक्ट अदर स्टेटमेंट सो कीज बेसिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ कंट्रास्टिंग स्टेटमेंट्स सो वी विल मैच हर्बेरियम विद वॉट थर्ड and we will match key with fourth option uh, sorry uh, the fourth one fourth statement museum next is museum what is a museum it is a place where collection of preserved plants and animals are there yes the biological museum at which you see the collection of preserved plant and animals and then the catalog catalog is basically a book in which there is a alphabetical arrangement of species and their slight description so a list enumerates methodically all the species in an area with a brief description aiding identification so catalog will be matched with second statement so it will be 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 yes option number 4 option number 4 right the answer will be option number 4 i hope this is clear to all of you very easy question you will say that ma'am is saying that every question is very easy yes right if you have studied correctly so every question is easy let's move on to the next question question number 4 given below are the various taxonomic aids used in taxonomy which facilitate identification and classification of organisms which one of the following is wrong this came in 2017 need 2017 you have to select the wrong statement you have to select the wrong statement so I, i'll give you 30 seconds just see and uh, let me know which one is the correct statement here <coughs> sorry okay let's see keys flora manual monograph and catalogs are useful aids for identification of plants and animals yes they help in the identification of plant or animals yes flora manual monograph catalogs are the books then herbarium is created to house live specimen no bachche dried and pressed specimen this is incorrect so our option will be 2 we will choose the option number 2 which is incorrect because in herbarium we basically dry the plant and then um, stitch it or paste it on the herbarium sheet we'll see the other options museum are established to keep the preserved specimen of plant or animal yes this is correct and botanical garden zoological park are established to con uh, to conserve or preserve live plants and animals respectively yes in botanical garden zoological park we protect or conserve the plant and this type of conservation is known as ex situ conservation ex situ conservation means in which we protect the plant or animal or species outside its natural habitat so i'll write it here protection outside natural habitat we are protecting them outside their natural habitat by providing a place similar to their natural habitat so yes our option will be 2 our option will be 2 herbarium is created to house dried and pressed plant material not live specimen dead specimen so our option will be 2 we'll choose option number 2 here next is study the four statements so there are four statements which are given here and you have to select two correct one right which of the following are correct just read the statements 
I'm giving you 30 seconds. <laughs> there are four statements and you have to tell which one are the two correct ones. Which are the one, two correct ones? Okay, let's see. Definition of biological species was given by Ernst Mayer. Yes, bache. Right? So, species basically is a group of interbreeding organism or individuals, right, living in a particular geographical area. So, biological species is that which can breed and produce fertile uh, offspring. So, definition of species is group of freely interbreeding individuals producing fertile offspring producing fertile offsprings right so yes this was given by Ernst Mayer. Correct. Photo period does not affect reproduction in plants. No, bache. This is wrong. Photo period means duration of light. It does affect the reproduction in some plants. So it is incorrect. Next is binomial nomenclature was given by R.H. Whittaker. No, it was given by Carlos Linnaeus. It was given by Carlos Linnaeus. Then in unicellular organism, reproduction is synonym with the growth. Yes, in unicellular organism, let's see, in unicellular organisms like amoeba when it is dividing it is also reproducing when it is dividing it is also reproducing which mean it is the same thing so yes statement number D is correct so which one are correct uh, incorrect B and C so uh, in the question, it has been asked two correct ones. So it will be A and D. So option number one will be correct. Option number one is correct. A and D statements are correct. A and D statements are correct. Okay. I hope this is clear to all of you. Next. The label of herbarium sheet does not carry information on. So I told you that if this is a herbarium sheet and you have pasted the plant material here or stitched the plant material, you have to write some information about it. Otherwise, how will you identify, how will you get to know that what plant is this after some time? So yes, you have to paste a label here, right, in which you write some information. What are the information that we write on a label? We write about the place of collection, from where it was collected. We write about the date of collection on which date it was collected. Right? We write about the scientific name, of course. We write about the local name if the plant has some local name. We write the English name. We write about the family of plant. What is the family of plant? And we write about the collector, the name of collector, who collected it. The name of collector who collected it. 
so uh, the label of herbarium does not carry we have to tell here that label does not carry what information local name yes it carries local name height of plant no beta date of collection yes name of collector yes so our answer will be 2 our answer will be 2 the height of plant the information on height of plant is not mentioned on the label is this clear this is important you need to know that label contains what information so i'm going to make a uh, let's see right important that's why i've made the star here i hope this is clear to all of you there's no confusion here so let's move on to the next question again the match the following you have to match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option so this is this match the following is about house fly musca domestica so i'm giving you 30 seconds and i'll write the scientific name of house fly which is musca domestica okay let's see i think 30 seconds has passed so family of uh, the house fly is muskidi this is what you have to remember right there no other option order is diptera class is insecta and the phylum is arthropoda right so muskidi third diptera is first insecta is fourth and arthropoda is second so three one four two three one four two so answer will be three here answer will be three here very easy direct question right it's all about how uh, how much thing you can remember or you can retain right so here option number three will be the answer this came in 2016 need 2016 let's move on to the next question question number eight which one of the following is not a correct statement it is not a correct statement i'm giving you 30 seconds you have to tell what uh, which of the following is wrong statement or not a correct statement this came in 2013 quickly i hope you guys are enjoying this <laughs> solving question is always interesting so keys is a taxonomic aid for identification of specimen yes but we can identify or we can uh, tell the similarity and dissimilarity herbarium houses dried pressed and preserved plant specimen yes but in a herbarium sheet correct botanical gardens have a collection of living plants for reference yes botanical garden has a living uh, plants and this help in x c2 conservation zoological park and botanical garden helps in ex situ conservation of plant and animal respectively then a museum has a collection of photograph of plant and animal it could be a photograph but mostly it is specimen bache. mostly it is specimens 
right like uh, insects in insect box you can see insect in insect box De dead insect of course and uh, you can see a uh, skeleton right you can see skeleton you can see algae moss right so yes you see the dead specimen in museum so the incorrect statement will be fourth so we will choose the fourth option the fourth statement is incorrect the fourth statement is incorrect first third first second third is correct and in the question it has been asked not a correct statement i hope this is clear to all of you let's move on to the next question wow very long statements <laughs> so which of the following organism is scientifically correctly named correctly printed according to the international rules of nomenclature and correctly described try to solve this question otherwise of course i'm going to solve this question so uh, for this i'll give you 40 seconds which of the following organisms is scientifically correctly named correctly described correctly printed you have 40 seconds let's see who can uh, solve this question okay i think time is over let's see um correctly we have to find the correct statement in short so musca domestica the common house lizard a reptile no bache musca domestica is basically the house fly right next is the plasmodium falciparum a protozoan pathogen causing the most serious type of malaria yes it is correctly written very much correct then felis tigris the indian tiger well protected in gir forest no it is not correct it is incorrect e coli full name is antamoeba coli a commonly occurring bacteria in intestine no beta it is assertia coli not antamoeba coli not antamoeba coli right so our option will be our option will be 2 2 is correct 2 is correct i hope this is clear to all of you the option number 2 here is correct all other options are incorrect okay i hope you understood next question let's see the next question which of the following is against the rule of icbn icbn basically for plants asked in need 2019 for plants so uh, basically you have to tell here the wrong statement okay let's see 
generic and specific name should be written starting with small letters this is incorrect the first statement is incorrect because generic name starts with capital letter starts with capital letter right and specific name starts with small letter right so first statement is incorrect our answer will be first but we will see we will still see other statements handwritten scientific name should be underlined yes separately every species should have generic name and specific epithet that's why it will be uh, it is known as binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature scientific name are in latin and should be italicized yes second third and fourth statement are correct but first is incorrect generic name starts with capital letter and scientific or uh, sorry specific epithet starts with small letter so first statement is against the rule of icbn or the wrong statement the wrong statement right i hope this is clear to all of you because we will start with question number 11 the contrasting characteristics generally in a pair used for the identification of animals in taxonomic key are referred to as the contrasting characteristics generally in pair what do we call it in key key is basically a taxonomic aid used for identification of plant and animal the pair of statement here is known as couplet so the answer will be third couplet right and the one statement is known as single statement is known as lead single statement is known as lead i hope this is clear to all of you the answer will be 11 uh sorry answer will be 3 the answer of 11th question is option number 3 let's move on to the next question the label of herbarium sheet does not carry information on again the same question i think the label of herbarium sheet does not carry information on date of collection yes name of collector yes local name yes height of plant no right height of plant is not mentioned on the herbarium sheet height of plant is not mentioned on the herbarium sheet it is not required this is a very easy question so let's move on to the next question nomenclature is governed by a certain universal rules which one of the following is contrary to the rule of nomenclature this came in on e 2016 i'm giving you 30 seconds then i will explain the question you have to basically tell the wrong statement you have to tell the wrong statement which one of the following is wrong statement okay let's see 
when handwritten by hand the names are to be underlined yes and when printed or typed it should be italicized it should be italicized yes biological names are written in any language no bache latin language this is incorrect so in the question it has been asked you have to choose the wrong statement so option number 2 will be the answer but we will also see other statements the first word in biological name represent genus and the second is specific epithet yes very much correct the name are written in latin are it and are it italicized yes the name should be in latin language if the origin is not latin we will latinized it we will convert it into we will make it sound like latin language okay so answer here is option number 2 okay i think this is clear to all of you let's move on to the next question icbn stands for icbn is for plants basically so let's see i'm giving you 30 seconds very easy question very direct and easy question icbn stands for indian code of botanical nomenclature no indian congress of biological name no international code of botanical nomenclature yes right and international congress of biological name no so icbn basically is for plants similarly there is iczn that is for plants sorry animals and it stands for international code of zoological nomenclature right international code of zoological nomenclature iczn for animals icbn for uh, plant and of course icnb international code of nomenclature of bacteria is for bacteria so icbn is for plant and icnb is for bacteria okay i hope this is clear to all of you very 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 direct question let's move on to the next question the taxonomical hierarchy refers to what do you mean by taxonomic hierarchy just i'm giving you 30 seconds there are four options of course you have to select the correct option what is taxonomic hierarchy what do you think okay let's see the options taxonomic hierarchy refers to the step wise arrangement of all categories for classification of plants and animals this is correct because as you know bachche classification is not a single step process it is not a single step process it is a multi step process and that multi step process is known as taxonomic hierarchy it is known as taxonomic hierarchy right so when we classify any organism it is not a single step process and there are seven obligate categories seven steps there are seven obligate categories or level or rank in taxonomic hierarchy what are those seven categories what are those seven categories 
we will write it sequence wise kingdom phylum in case of plant we use division class order family genus and species and species so these are the seven obligate category seven obligate category uh, next uh, we will also uh, see the uh, other options a group of senior taxonomists who decide the nomenclature of plant kingdom no a list of botanists or zoologists no classification of species based on fossil record no taxonomic hierarchy basically it is like a ladder it is a steps multi step process in which there are seven categories or level or ranks and those seven categories are kingdom phylum class order family genus species i hope this is clear to all of you so the our answer will be first taxonomic hierarchy refers to step wise step wise arrangement of all categories for classification of plant and animals next is which one of the following is least journal in character as compared to my my favorite question <laughs> which of the following is least in least general least general i am giving you 30 seconds just try to solve this i will explain what is this least general mean okay let's see so you have seven categories kingdom phylum in case of animal and division in case of plant very important to remember class order family genus species right so you already have studied that when we go to word species from kingdom similarity increases or similar character increases so which means the species the individual in species has most similar characters and the kingdom has least similar character right so whenever we go from kingdom to species the similarity basically decreases so species has most individual in species has more common character than genus genus has more common character than family family has more common character than order order has more common character than class class has more common character than phylum and phylum has more common character than kingdom right now other thing is general characters so when we move from species to kingdom right when we move from species to kingdom general characters increases general character as mean uh, if i say that uh, what is the nutrition mode of nutrition in organisms that is a general character right so which which organism has cell wall which organism does not has cell wall that is basically the general character in which which we see in groups right so similar character is basically for small groups and general character is basically for large group so whenever we move, move from species to kingdom the general character increases which means kingdom has 
मोस्ट जनरल करेक्टर एंड स्पीशीज हैज लीस्ट जनरल करेक्टर नाउ यू गॉट द आंसर आई थिंक so the question in the question it has been asked that which of the following has least general character the answer will be species species has least general character and the kingdom has most general character kingdom has least similar character and the species has most similar character i hope this is clear to all of you option will be 3 here right uh you can pause the video right if you want if you want to see any question again if you want to pause for some time for any question just pause it next question is which of the following statement or statements is or are correct so four statements are given here you need to tell me that how many uh statements are correct it if it is 1 2 3 4 how many statements are correct i'm giving you 30 seconds here okay let's see first statement is reproduction can be a defining feature of living being no bachche what do you mean by defining feature what is the defining feature defining feature is something that is present in all organism without any exception present in all living organisms without exception and it should not be present in and it should be absent in non living things should be absent in non living things right so defining feature should be present in all organism without any exception but we know that reproduction is absent in some organism reproduction is absent in some organism so yes we cannot consider reproduction as a defining property theek okay? hai next is growth and reproduction are mutually inclusive for bacteria protist and algae right no right growth and reproduction are mutually inclusive which means synonym for unicellular only unicellular organisms only so in unicellular organism growth and reproduction means same it is synonym so whenever unicellular organism are growing they are reproducing so as we know that algae is multicellular so it in that the reproduction and growth cannot be mutually inclusive so it is a incorrect option or statement sorry next let's see intrinsic growth occurs in living thing intrinsic means internal <laughs> yes we show internal growth everything is uh, uh, everything that is being uh, deposited uh, in our body is coming from inside it uh, depositing from inside organisms show awareness towards surrounding yes that is known as consciousness that is known as consciousness so c and t are correct our answer will be c and d two statements are correct c and d a and b are incorrect and c and t are correct so in the question it has been asked which of the following statement are correct how many is following statement or which of the following statement are correct that is two it should be let's say uh, i think it should uh, be how many statement but that's okay i hope this is clear to all of you
This was question number 16. Let's move on to the next question. Scientific name of lily is based on agreed principle and criteria which are mentioned in. So lily is a plant. So what do you think the answer should be? Options are ICBN, ICNCP, ICNB and ICZN. I already told you this. It should be ICBN. IC and uh, CP and we can write it here. Let me correct it. Let's do it. ICVN. Right? Okay, so it was easy, right? ICNB we know for bacteria and ICZN is for animals, we know this. Okay, this is an uh, easy question and ICBN for plants and lily is a plant. So option number one will be the answer. Option number one will be the answer here. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Select the taxa of same category, taxa which means group of same category level from the given below. So you have to select the option in which the group of same taxa is basically given. So I'm giving you few seconds to solve this, then I will solve it. <laughs> Try to solve it. Okay, I think let's see. Men basically represent your species, cat represents species animal represent kingdom and insect represent class so you can see different category are here next is potato and sweet potato are species or mango is species all the three are species here represent species but dicot represent class so it is also incorrect Next, Felidae represent family, Carnivora represent order, right, Primata basically represent order, it is also different categories, wrong. Green algae uh, represent class, Dicots represent class and mammals or mammalia represent class. So as you can see here, same category. Group of same category is shown in option number, is given in option number four. So our answer will be option number four. Is this clear to all of you? So you will be able to solve these type of question. I've explained. Only you have to do is know whether uh, the category of different groups what category they are representing so here option number four because all the three things here is representing class green algae is basically we also call it chlorophyce in the plant kingdom you have already studied this okay let's see next question Question number 19, which of the following pair is correctly matched, incorrectly matched, sorry, you have to find the incorrect match. 
solve it then we will see incorrectly matched let's see mangifera indica represents species good mangifera this is good mangifera is uh, mango so this is correct hominidae represent family yes hominidae is family for humans diptera is uh, basically represent class no beta diptera is a order for insects or for house fly sorry diptera is a order for house full <laughs> i have written house full <laughs> it is house fly so third is incorrect gymnosperm is division yes gymnosperm basically are the non flowering seed producing plants they are non flowering seed producing plants non flowering seed producing plants so option number 3 the match is incorrect diptera is not a class diptera is a order for house fly i hope this is clear to all of you let's move on to the next question the most obvious and technically complicated feature is dash and present in dash let's see the most obvious and complicated feature beta is consciousness which means awareness about the surrounding right awareness about surrounding it is a defining feature because it is present in all living organism without any exception it is present in all prokaryotes and eukaryotes prokaryote means bacteria all bacteria come under prokaryote and eukaryotes in eukaryotes we are there plants fungi protist so everything except bacteria come under eukaryotes so consciousness is a defining feature because it is present in all living organism without any exception and it is not present in non living things so yes answer will be fourth let's see other options growth uh growth is not a defining property because it is also present in non living thing reproduction and self consciousness beta beta only present in humans only present in humans self consciousness means awareness about self existence it is only present in human it is not a defining property not a defining property because it is only present in humans so our answer will be fourth here the most obvious and technically complicated feature is consciousness and it is present in all organism whether it is prokaryote or eukaryote i hope this is clear to all of you list let's see next animals like fishes amphibians reptile birds constitute the higher category called what do you think answer will be fishes amphibians reptiles and birds all are classes and we know that group of related classes is known as phylum in animals phylum in animals and division in plant so answer will be phylum so the class which are related they grouped under a single category which is known as phylum i hope this is clear to all of you let's see the next question 
choose the correct match solve this then i'll tell you what will be the answer you have to choose the correct option okay uh, flora actual distribution of habitat and distribution yes flora basically is a book which gives information about the distribution of plant that where does uh, where does we can find it and its habitat where does it live monograph is also a book which give information of about one taxon information about one taxon or group so the book which gives information about one group of taxon is known as uh, monograph so second option is incorrect manual alphabetical order species no manual basically is uh, have information for identification have information for identification we can identify the species with the help of manual this is also incorrect catalog information about one taxon no catalog has alphabetical arrangement of species alphabetical arrangement of species with description right so first option will be the correct one flora that is the correctly written that Flo flora is a book which helps in understanding the actual distribution of habitat and distribution i hope this is clear to all of you next is let's see question number 23 national botanical research institute is located in or botanical garden is located in uh, lucknow up in habra you will see indian botanical garden indian botanical garden in q england you will see royal botanical garden and in bangalore you can see lal bag botanical garden right in bangalore you will see lal bag botanical garden so answer will be 2 here lucknow national botanical garden will be is located in lucknow up let's see the next question question number 24 taxonomic keys taxonomic keys basically has a pair of contrasting characters known as lead no it is known as couplet are analytical in nature yes beta keys require lots of analysis right whenever you we use key it require lot of analysis it is analytical in nature correct right each key has generally more than two choices yes we call it couplet and the single statement is known as lead single statement is known as lead okay so more than one option is correct second and third second and third more than one options are correct more than one options are correct i hope this is clear to all of you let's see next the lowest and highest category of classification is i have already told you so the highest lowest is species and the highest is kingdom 
the lowest category is uh, species and highest is kingdom you can remember i think you uh, i think you already know about the mnemonic that we use for the categories but i'll still write it it will be keep pot clean otherwise family get sick right it will be for kingdom phylum for plant it will be division class order family genus and species okay so lowest category is species and highest is kingdom after this let's see the next question question number 26 reproduction is synonym with growth in so reproduction and the growth is synonym in or we call it mutually inclusive in unicellular organism in unicellular organisms right so we can see that uh, most of the fungi and planaria no multicellular desmid diatoms and protozoa all are unicellular so our answer will be 2 cyanobacteria fungi and mosses no mosses algae and hydra no so our option will be 2 because all are unicellular in option 2 and in unicellular reproduction and growth are the same thing they are mutually inclusive so answer will be option number 2 next question number 27 that the rice poisi monocots and plants represent what i am giving you 30 seconds to solve this question very easy rice poisi monocot and plants represent what let's see rice is a species poisi is a family monocot is a class and plant basically represent kingdom right so you can see that they are different group taxa means group at different level or different category so these are different groups at different category option number 1 will be the answer option number 1 will be the answer that these four things rice represent species poisi represent family monocots represent class and plant represent kingdom kingdom plantae so these are groups of different categories or different groups or different levels so option number 1 will be the answer let's see next question order primate or primata or carnivora are placed in the same class that is so the both are order that are placed in which class <coughs> they are placed in basically class mammalia right so basically what is a class it is a group of related orders group of related orders right let's see next question this was a very easy one plant 
plants belonging to different classes with a few similar characters are assigned to a category called so basically it is asking group of related class classes in plant is known as what do you think the group of related classes the classes which are similar are placed in a group known as division in plant and phylum in animals it is known as division in plants and phylum in animals so answer here will be division answer here will be division question number 2 Uh, sorry option number 2 is the answer division so now the time comes for the last question question number 30 the equivalent rank of carnivore and taxonomic categories of a man and a house fly is respectively is carnivora is a order right so you have to tell the equivalent rank in men and house fly men and house fly so mono and musca no they are genus hominidae is family muscidae is family no mammalia is a class insecta is a class no bache yes primata is order and diptera is order yes option number 4 so carnivora is order primata is order for men and diptera is order for house fly so option number 4 will be the correct answer will be the correct answer so here we will end our lecture i hope bachi you all enjoyed while solving the all the question so we will meet in the next lecture solving the questions of the chapter uh, biological classification and uh, uh, i'm making sure that all the question will be very interesting very important for your exam so I'll meet you. I'll see you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye bye.